Here is a quick, easy, and detailed tutorial that will teach you how to edit your studio backdrop. And I've broken it down into three steps. So step one is to remove the distraction and clean the backdrop. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J or Control J if you're using a Windows. And there are different tools and different ways you can actually clean your backdrop or remove the distraction. But the easiest way is to just use the remove tool. Let me show you how the remove tool works. So I just come to my remove tool right here on my toolbar. Click on the remove tool right here and just increase my brush size and just select the part of the distraction which I want to remove just like this. And also the part of the backdrop which I want to clean. So you can see this dirt on the ground. So I'm just going to paint on it and just going to remove it. So once I do that, I'm going to press on good right here. And Photoshop will automatically remove those distractions for us. So, see the before and the after. Now, this part are looking dark. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick the remove tool again and just paint on this part and just click on good again and just let Photoshop do its thing. All right, now you can see, see the before and the after. And you can do it again to remove those lines right there. All right, now this is one way you can actually remove the distraction. Now, if you don't have this removed tool, let me show you another way which you can actually do the same thing. So let me just add this layer and duplicate this background layer again. Now, once I duplicate my layer, the second method I'm going to be using is the content aware method. Now, to do that, just pick any selection tool like the Ponigano Lasso tool or the Lasso tool. So let's pick the Lasso tool for this one and just make a selection of where we want to remove like this. Also, press Shift to add. So we're going to add this part to the selection by holding shift and just dragging around this part. So the selection, just like this. So I'm going to add this part. All right. Now also, just circle around the distraction and the backdrop, which you want to clean. So remember to push shift to add. So after making the selection of the distraction, what you want to remove, just come to your edit right here and just click on content aware field right here. And Photoshop is just going to do its thing and just try to fix that place for you. So you can see. So from here, just click on OK. Now, press or Ctrl D to deselect. Now you can see right now, this place are looking dark. Now to fix that, just merge this your background layer. Let me just delete this layer upward because I already need it. So to remove this dark place right here, just merge this background tool and the background layer together like that. So make a selection of this part again. After making a selection of that place, go back to Edit, come back to content aware field and photoshop will automatically fill that place for you again so those parts that are green are the part that photoshop selects to fill that place for us so i don't want you to select this part i don't want you to select any part of the image of the subject rather i just want you to make a selection of the backdrop and just automatically fill it for us like that all right so let this work for me so i'm going to click on ok again all right so see the before ctrl d to deselect see the before and the after so i'm going to group these two layer together so the before and the after now for me you can just pick your patch tool and just circle around that line and just remove it like that with your patch tool so the before and the after now after you've removed the distraction and cleaned up the backdrop the second step is to actually crop and smooth out the background now to do that i'm going to come to my crop tool right here you just crop the image the way I actually want it. So I want this image for Instagram. So I'm going to come to my ratio right here. Just click on 4x5 right here. Hold option. And just crop it 4x5 to fit for Instagram. Just like this. So let this work for me. So I'm going to come here. Change this background to content aware field. Or generative expand if you have the latest version and the official version of Photoshop. But if you don't have it, just use the content aware field right here. After that, just click on OK right here. And it's just going to fill those places for us. So, see the before and the after, just like that. Now, to smoothen the background, just duplicate this layer right here by pressing on Command J or Control J to duplicate this layer. After that, pick any selection tool. It can be the quick selection or the object selection. I want to click on the quick selection right here. And under here, if you want to get a more accurate selection, just click on this drop that icon right here and click on cloud right here for a more detailed selection and just click on select subject now after making a selection of the subject remember we just want to smooth in the background so we want to remove the subject from the background so pay close attention so after making a selection of the subject 
invite the selection to select the background by pressing on command shift i or control shift i so right now we've invited the selection and our background is being selected now from here just press on command j or control j to cut out the subject from the background so right now if i turn off all my subjects layer you can see right now we have just the background the subject is no longer on the background but we're not going to stop here so the next we are going to do i'm going to come to this layer again so let me just rename this layer subject for better understanding and rename this one right here background so i'm going to come to my subject layer again please pay close attention once i come to my subject layer again I'm going to make a selection of my subject. So instead of just making a selection again from the beginning, what I can do, I can just come back to this layer, hold command and click on this selection right here to bring back the selection. All right. So what I did, let me just undo it. What I did with my subject selected, hold command or control and click on the background right here, this background layer to bring back the selection. Instead of making the selection all over again from scratch. All right. Once I bring back the selection, this time, I'm going to invert it and make sure only the subject is selected. Now, to do that, I'm going to press up Command Shift I again to invert the selection. And right now, you can see only the subject is selected. So, once my subject is selected right now, I'm going to add a layer mask to my subject layer just to hide it instead of just removing it. So, I'm going to hide my subject. So, I'm going to click on Layer Mask right here to hide my subject. After that, I'm going to come to my background layer and just drag it below my subject layer like this all right so next thing i'm going to do with my background layer selected i'm going to come to my filter i'm going to convert it for smart filter just like that next thing i'm going to do i'll come to filter again i'm going to come to blur i'm going to come to gaussian blur now with the gaussian blur we're just going to use to smoothen out the background you just play with your radius and move it up and we're going to see the effect in real time so if i take it up to about 100 we are going to see how smooth the background is right now. And if I take it down, you can see the background is normal. We just play with your blur radius and see how it works with me. So I think maybe 70 works for me for this image. So I feel it's still too much. I'm going to take it down a little bit to get some of the shadow. So let's use 40 instead. 40 and hit OK. All right. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. So from here, I'm just going to add noise to the background. So I'll come to my action, click on noise right here. And by the way, if you need my action, I believe you can get it in short below. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the noise just like that. All right. So let's see where we started from and where we are right now. Just take a look at the background. All right. So see the way it was originally and see the way it is right now. The before and the after. The before and the after. Lastly, which is the step three, is to actually add overlays to your backdrop. Now, this part is optional, but if you want to add overlay, this is how you do it. All right. So remember, we've already removed the subjects from the background. Uh, we've already smoothened that. So after following that same step, we used to smoothen out the backdrop. Remember, we cut out the subject from the background and just move the background below the subject layer. What you want to do right now from here is just to drag and drop your overlays to the image, and that's all. Okay. So these are some of the overlays I have. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop this one right here on the image to see how it looks so i'm going to resize it to fit so like this works for me i'm going to click on ok all right now for me what i'm going to do i'm not going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light just like this and for me i'm just going to reduce the opacity all right now i feel this while it doesn't really work well for me for this image let's try something else so i'm going to hide it so Come back to my overlays um let's try something else um okay let's try this so i'm going to move this one and just drag it into photoshop like this all right now i'm just going to resize it again remember i'm dragging the overlay below my subject layer not above not above my subject layer because if it's above my subject layer it's just going to hide my subject so drag it below your subject layer all right now from here I'm just going to come to my blend mode, change the blend from normal to soft light and just reduce the opacity. Okay, just like that. So, see the before and the after. The before and the after. Just look for overlay that actually fits your image and use it. So, if you want to get unlimited overlay or unlimited backgrounds for life, check out this video right here. 
I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.